I, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. I, y'all see what we got going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, today's video is dealing with Offset and Cardi B walk out that meeting that CEOPF had put together for Jay Prince. And the reason why, because Offset and Cardi B felt like Jay Prince, he didn't want to be held accountable for the things that he was saying about them on social media. So with that, after a 20, 30 minute back and forth, they can tell Jay Prince, he wasn't giving in. He was standing stern on what he stated about Offset and Cardi B. You already know, a lot of older people, they get stuck in their ways. It's hard to change their mindset. So with that, in a 20, 30 minute back and forth they could tell jay prince wasn't giving in that's the reason why offset and cardi b they decided to walk out the meeting because they felt that was best for their mindset at that time cardi b and offset they decided to walk out the joint and i agree with them because they're saying that jay prince he feel like he ain't say anything wrong now the reason why ceo pierre had put this together to try to see if he can diffuse the negative attention that's being shared mostly between jay prince and offset so basically, Offset and Cardi B was trying to see why Jay Prince will go on social media and bring up their names in the first place. Hey man, that's the million dollar question that a lot of folks have. And that's what made Jay Prince wake up that morning, go on wallowing giddy, and start talking about Offset the way he did. And even went into the relationship that Offset has with Takeoff. Making it seem like Offset and Takeoff wasn't cool before Takeoff untimely demise. Now, that was bogus right there, man. That somebody in my family got sent up. And the person who did it is allegedly affiliated to your son's mob ties. And you go on social media talking about our relationship? Come on, man. That's family. So that's the reason why Offset, he has a reason to snap on Jay Prince the way he did. Only thing that Offset was doing was defending himself. He didn't cross the line like Jay Prince did. Offset didn't go on social media talking about the relationship between Jay Prince and his sons. Because Offset understands that has nothing to do with him. So that's the same way that Offset and Cardi B feel about Jay Prince. Hey man, you have no reason to speak on what's going on over here. Especially if we never brought you up. But yeah, it's some folks from Texas who goes by the name of Charleston White and Sauce Walker. They even speak on the fact that Jay Prince, he's known to place himself inside of other folks' business that really ain't got nothing to do with him. And that's going back to the whole NBA Young Boy, where NBA Young Boy got his house broken into, and somehow Jay Prince had NBA Young Boy keys. I mean, come on, man, who knows how that went down? And then you had the whack 100 in the whole Larry Hoover issue, where the folks were saying that Jay Prince he placed himself inside a Larry Hoover business when it really had nothing to do with him. And again, that's something that Offset kept repeating. He kept trying to let Jay Prince know, "Hey, my G." I never brought you up. Me or my family never spoke on you or your sons this whole time. So what is your reason on bringing us up? And then Offset, he get word that it was one of Quavo affiliates who was going back and forth telling Jay Prince everything that Offset was saying about it. And Offset, he had to let Jay Prince know, hey, my G, I was just asking the same question as everybody else. And that's why I want Takeoff protected better than what he was. And what made the disagreement between Quavo and Jay Prince spread to their guys wanting to up a burner at a private event? And that's the main issue that Offset has. He's trying to let Jay Prince know, hey, my guy, your son's had a private event so why is people passing around blickies so why do anybody in there want to have a burner in the first place hey man i stated that before at a private event the only people who's supposed to have burners is the security standing at the door to make sure that the people who's coming into this private event is not causing havoc and you do that by limiting the access to burners because if anybody in there could have one then somebody in there gonna be itching to use it and that's what happened as always we want to say rest in peace to take off condolences to his family and much love to all my folks in the ATL. See, the thing is, the folks in ATL feel like your boy Jay Prince, he's trying to cause a distraction by even going at Offset and Cardi B the way he did. And yeah, folks, it's real. As a man, you got to be aware when you're wrong. That way, you take accountability for your actions and you move on. Because we know how far this can go when two men are at odds. So yeah, my guy, that's why it was a good idea for CEO Pierre to have these people sit down and have a conversation. It's real. You got to know where you went left to make it right because we got a bigger issue at hand here and that's we want justice for takeoff family you feel me but offset is saying it's messed up that it resulted in takeoff untimely demise so yeah i'm gonna feel some type of way about your sons and their mob ties but what you have to respect is i never went on social media with any of my complaints about y'all 
I kept it amongst family or the people who I thought was family. I ain't know somebody was going to go back and tell you what I said. But at the same time, if you didn't like what I said, it was up to you to call me. And it's true because Jay Prince stated himself that he been knowing QCCOPF and Coach K for over 10, 12 years, man. And we understand that Jay Prince, he got caught up in his emotions. And it showed when he was on Wallowing Gilly. But what the folks is trying to understand is why would Jay Prince come back after offset response? And that's something that Jay Prince even spoke on as well. Jay Prince said he felt like it was too many people on social media playing with his family name. So he felt like he was doing what was in the best interest of his family. Well, he got to understand that's where Offset is coming from as well, man. You just can't go on social media and speak on my wife or speak on my family and, and expect for me to not have a response. Come on, my G, what kind of man is you? And yeah, it's true, folks. When Offset had that run in with Sauce Walker guys, he did contact Jay Prince for some aid and assistance. But the problem of that matter is, Jay Prince, he wasn't supposed to brought that up. Because if Jay Prince say he look up to the same guy that Offset does, that mean y'all stand on the same concepts and ideologies. So with that, Jay Prince, he wasn't supposed to have no problem A and assistant Offset in that day and time. But a lot of folks don't even understand. That's the reason why Offset stopped hanging around Jay Prince and his son's mob ties. Now y'all see Quavo, he's always around them. And that's something that Jay Prince even spoke on himself. That's the reason why he's always showing love to Quavo. And even stated that, hey, Jazz, he sees Quavo like a brother. See, the folks in ATL know that takeoff. He will only be around Jay Prince Jr. mob ties because of his uncle Quavo. That's the whole reason why he went to that private party event with Quavo. And y'all see that Offset, he wasn't there. Cause like I stated, when Offset had that run in with Sauce Walker affiliates, Jay Prince, he made it an issue. He rubbed it in Offset's face, which was bogus, man. So I bring that up to let y'all know that's the reason why most of the time y'all will see Quavo around Jazz and Jay Prince Jr. mob ties. You will rarely see Takeoff or Offset around those guys. And I told y'all, man, Takeoff, he was a family man. That Takeoff, he really only cared about being around family. Yeah, and even speaking on that, Takeoff brother, YRN Lingo, he stated the same thing. He said his brother Takeoff was mostly a family man. He didn't care about being out and about and running with the main crowd. His main crowd was his family. So that's the reason why Takeoff brother, YRN Lingo, he made a post snapping on some people for showing fake love. He said now he knows what everybody was talking about before, that these people, they're being your face, making it seem like they're showing you some real love. But at the same time, they're playing Two-Face, being all in your business for their own personal endeavors. And I respect Takeoff Brother, Water and Lingo for having that mentality. Because you got to watch out for the vultures that's out there, man. Because they love to attest themselves to the simple fact that you're being vulnerable. So that's why it's always good to have people around you who really have your best interests at heart. I know it's hard to find. It's few in between. But I'm telling you, those are the few you want to have by your side when everything hits the fan. And we can all feel where Takeoff Brother is coming from because we have all been there. So we just want to inform the Takeoff Brother, always be aware of the people around you. That's what I always say. Always be aware and always stay prepared. Because more people will respect you for having some type of moral understanding. Now, even though Offset knew that Jay Prince was wrong, he still agreed to take that meeting with CEO PF. Because Offset, he's familiar with the history that Jay Prince has with Larry Hoover. But like I stated, even though CEO Pierre and some other guys didn't get what they wanted, and that was for Jay Prince and Offset to hash out their differences to come to some type of agreement. And if not, it's cool. They can go their separate ways and still take care of their family and their business. But as black men, we have to communicate with one another better than what we're doing, especially if we want to give a better example to the next generation. And that's real talk. But hey, we get more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.